So now after reviewing three Konami games in a row, it's time we switch it on over to Capcom and check out Mega Man Dr. Wily's Revenge. After Mega Man 3, some people thought the series was getting stale. With the advent of 16-bit consoles and Capcom dying to keep them 8-bit, most everyone thought the old Blue Bomber was going nowhere fast. But he was, and he did. I see a lot closer than anyone imagined. Oh, Game Boy, how sweet you sing! Alright, let's get started. Dr. Wily's Revenge, or as I like to call it, Mega Man 1.5. Yeah, 1.5. Now, surprisingly, Capcom did want to slap together some quick cash-in downpour like they usually do. So this time, the guys at Capcom went off the rails and concocted something crazy. Crazy, like combining the first two Mega Man games together. All the levels may look ripped off from Mega Man 1, but trust me, it's got that new game smell. Revamping everything from head to toe, new obstacles, new enemies, and new difficulty found nowhere else. And Cutman, let me tell you, he's a damn beast. Unless you have the special weapon to beat him, he will own you. Now thankfully Capcom left the gameplay intact. It's classic shoot 'em up Mega Man through and through. The old Blue Bomber proudly returns to original form here. Like original original? As in the one you played back in uh, 1987? So that means no rush, no sliding, and definitely no charge Mega Buster. But oh poor Capcom, what are they to do? Tirelessly at the mercy of that devilish green screen, they couldn't possibly produce. Oh wait, they made Gargoyles Quest. That's such an awesome game. How silly of me to forget. <laughs> But Capcom didn't stop with just four robot masters from the first Mega Man game. Cutman, Electman, Fireman, and Iceman. Remember, it's Mega Man 1.5. They added in four more robot masters from Mega Man 2. Bubble Man, Heat Man, Flash Man, and Quick Man. And create a totally original boss called Anchor, which you might remember from Mega Man 10 if you downloaded his special stage on DLC. Yeah, that guy started on Game Boy. And he is one of Inafuri's original creations, like Punk and Ballad. Which, by the way, did you guys notice that all of their names are plays on different music styles? Like with Enker, his name is a play on the word Enka. Well, let's get real. Why in the world would you call yourself after a contemporary Japanese music style? Well, why would you call yourself Rock and Roll? Zing! So you beat the bad guys, take their weapons, Go to Wily's castle, beat four more robot masters, defeat Anchor, get his sweet weapon, and here's the point I think where NES fans got mad jealous. Wily running away to his second fortress. In outer space. Damn, I love you, Game Boy. And the music you're listening to? One of the best damn 8-bit tunes to come out of a Game Boy cart ever. Too bad very few know about it. It was a secret track hidden in the ROM that, for whatever reason, Capcom never used. And really, what more can you ask for from Dr. Wily's Revenge? It had everything Mega Man fans loved about the original Mega Man game, while adding a few new things to make it its own. But after 4, 5, and 6, people felt the old Blue Bomber was never coming back. But I say he went on to better places. In fact, for five dollars on 3DS, you can rediscover one of the greatest megabits all over again. <laughs> 